All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Early Human History, your first video to take notes. And if you're not sure how to take notes, I have probably already prepped you before this, so you should have the paper ready. If you don't know what the topic is, it's Early Human History. All right, let's go to the first slide. You should be able to, as a goal, examine, describe, timeline, and illustrate the history of humankind from about 9,000 to 3,500 BCE. What that means is you should be able to understand and be able to say with a timeline or with pictures what these people were like. So intro, early humans depended upon hunting and gathering herbs and plants for food about 100,000 years ago to about 900,000 years ago, give or take. So agriculture did not start. They didn't start raising animals or plants until around 9,000 BCE. And some places weren't good to grow food, so people had to hunt and gather to survive. There's no other way to live. Now, migration people, that means where people moved to. So the first places people were migrating to or settled was Egypt, around 60,000 BCE. The West Africa, around 100,000 BCE. Middle East, which is Mesopotamian, Canaan, which is 60 to 50,000 BCE, and India and China around 50 to 30,000 BCE. These people settled there. They lived there. That's why we study them this year, because that's where the first people were staying at. This is the basic line of how people moved. Everyone started around Africa a long time ago, about 200,000 to 150,000 years. They traveled into Europe, made it around 45,000 years ago. They were in the Middle East, the Levant Arabian Peninsula, about 120 to 90. They made it to Asia about 20,000 years ago. Indonesia, Australia, 50,000 years ago. And people made it to the Americas about 15,000 years ago, which, as you can see, is definitely not the oldest. So I want you to think, go back to the map in this video if you have to. I want you to try to answer these questions. When did humans first make it to Levant Arabian Peninsula? Why do you think it took humans so long to go to Europe, considering how close it was when they started in Africa? And the third and final question, where do you think the oldest cities are located on the map? Okay, this is Mr. Corwin. We're going to watch him together, so don't worry about this part of it yet. First cities. Now, believe it or not, not surprising, they were found near water. Humans need water for some reason. I don't know. Cattle Huyuk was about 7,500 BCE. It was found near the Fertile Crescent, the area of Mesopotamian Canaan, and Jericho. That was also found near water in Mesopotamia. So these large cities are made up of towers, houses, springs for water, city walls, marketplaces, kind of like Omak with the towers. So Jericho and Catalhoyuk, let's go a little more detailed. The city of Jericho had about a population of 1,000 people, which is eh, about Conconelli and Malat kind of thing. While Catalhoyuk, on the other hand, was 5,000, 7,000. That's bigger than Omac. That's going toward Wenatchee levels. So Catalhoyuk is gone, though. Jericho still exists, and it's still a major city in the country of Palestine. So due to the surplus of food and agriculture, people were allowed to specialize in different jobs in Cattle Hoyuk and Jericho. There was carpenters, cattle makers, cow, cattle make, candle makers, potters, soldiers, wagon makers, shipping. You get the idea. You can read it. Lots of different jobs just like today. And since there were so many jobs, you didn't have to be a farmer anymore, which means there was more time to make new things like metal building, bronze, swords, spears, chariots. All the cool things that people need to get more advanced. Here's a picture of what I believe Catahoyuk looked like. Notice they had their houses' doors on the top. Prevented too much heat getting in the house. That would be the city of Jericho. Still there. Reason is still there. Can you guess? Metalworking. So Mesopotamia is the first place that had cities. It's also the first place that people grew plants and raised animals using an irrigation system. Irrigation systems help provide water to large crops. So if you want a huge field, you need water. A huge field means more a surplus of food. With a surplus of food, you have more food to feed a lot of people. If you need to feed a lot of people, you need an irrigation system. So since they had irrigation, 
they were able to create way more things in Mesopotamia before anywhere else. Bronze, which is one of the stronger metals in the world, was they were able to make this about 1,250 years away ahead of the Greeks, which means they were numeral uno on planet Earth. So typical farm with the irrigation, the little water canals leading from the rivers. Now, river civilizations, I need you to understand this. Everybody settled near water, rivers, oceans, seas, because people need water. Water is needed to keep humans hydrated for food, growing it, boiling foods to keep it from being poisonous. You need it for the hydrating your own animals. So any question why people settle near water sources? Like their whole existence? So now I want you to think right share in your notes on the right. So think where is your home located? Write it down. Is it near any water sources? Why do you think your home is located where it's at? Now I want you, you should only take at least three minutes to answer all this. And then I'm going to have you share at the end of class. So be ready. All right, ancient civs. So these civilizations are the oldest. We're going to try to examine as historians in this school year. So Mesopotamia, Canaan, also Phoenicia, they're the oldest. So we're going to start there. Also called the Fertile Crescent because it was very fertile for food. They're both near the Mediterranean Sea and the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. There's that whole living by the water thing. Then we're going to travel to Egypt, land of pyramids and pharaohs along the Nile. Then we're going to travel to a place that had many cities by the Indus River, perfectly designed, huge swimming pools, working toilets. That's India. Then off to the far east, the land of China. These people live by the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, cultivated a food source still popular today. I think it's called rice. And finally, we head back west to the Mediterranean Sea to look at the newer, the old civilizations, which was Greece. And if you're lucky, if you guys are working hard, if there's time, you will hit ancient Rome. Here's all the map of locations of all the old civilizations. There's Rome, there's Mesopotamia, Egypt, Greece, China, India. You get the idea. So what if? I want you to think, what if this hadn't happened? So what if early people hadn't started grouping together to form these cities and civilizations? What would it be like today? And a valley connection, how this can link to you. If humans hadn't learned to cooperate in large groups, there's a good chance that we'd still be spending the majority of our time struggling for food. No doubt. All right, did you get there? At the bottom of your notes, the very bottom, put a line, make a box. It's time to see if you can create a timeline. I want you, on that paper that you provided by either by me, you're all wonderful and all loving, Mr. Morris, or by yourself, which is all loving too, I'm sure, you should go over the important dates going through this. So I want you to go at the last ice age, when the first two cities, Jericho and Catahuyuk, were invented, when the biggest inventions of bronze were invented, and any other facts you can find on your own. So I'm going to give you an example of this. So do not fret. I'll make sure I have one. All right. So your take on this. Write down what you think. The main facts, points, ideas are any important bits that you can use later. So make sure you pause this video when you need to. Go back. Make sure you have all the notes. We will do the questions on the left together. Don't worry about the left side of your notes. All right. Good luck. I'll be seeing you in, oh, 20 minutes or so. Later.